Moo! Welcome everybody to Angel Hits. This will be game number 11. And today we're taking on the St. Louis Blues in St. Louis. Let's take a look at the standings here. After 10 games, we want to see our Eastern Conference standings. So that's what matters the most. And all teams on this list have played more games than me. We're only at the 10 game mark. Everybody else has played way, way more games. So we have many games in hand. Well, we still sit in seven spots, so that's an excellent spot. We can only move higher as we continue through our season. The Leafs, who we just beat by a score of 2-0, sit in first place, which is unheard of. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're in a good spot right now at 7-3, and, and I think we can only move higher in the standings. So that should be good. But today we're going to be taking on the St. Louis Blues the blues and one of the last things I did before I started this LP just because it had just happened was Martin Brodeur had come out well I guess he wasn't officially retired but he signed with the St. Louis Blues so I moved Brodeur over to the Blues um, just for the fun of it and I think we're gonna start off here with some Zelos and some Tomas I think that's the way I wanted to go here to start this game off and uh, we, they got a really good goalie, so we need our really good goalie. Let's go Mad Cow. Not that the other one isn't that, but, you know, Tiny Cow isn't, isn't great. Because they're, they're both coming off shutouts here. We haven't allowed a goal in a, a long time. But, that might all change in this game. Welcome to St. Louis. And uh, we're going to be struggling to find goals today. Because Bordeur was back in his prime in these days. And he's considered one of the best goalies ever. Even though I thought he was a little overrated, to be honest with you. He played for New Jersey for many years. And they played a very defensive style. And they, and they still do. They still have that reputation for an extremely defensive style of play. And I... I I'm pretty sure that helped his career. I'm not saying he was a bad goalie. I'm just saying his numbers were overflated because of the style of play that New Jersey played. And that always helped. But um, let's see what happens here today in St. Louis. And there we go, the puck is down, and Cal's crazy wins the faceoff. Zelos has it, right into Tomas. Tomas takes a shot, and it's blocked. Zelos from the point! Oh, big shot, and saved by Bodur. Tchuk has it, now over to York. York didn't take the shot, I don't know why. Tchuk has a backhand, he goes into the corner. York has it now, he spins around, passes out front, Dimitra was stopped. Cal's crazy, over to Tomas! Oh, that was a big shot there, and it was blocked in the corner. Dimitra, he spins around, and York has it. York... Over to Tchuk, Tchuk doesn't get the puck in front. Oh, there's a one turn! What a save there by Mad Cow! York has the puck. Every time he touches the puck, I think of a York Peppermint Patty and Oh, boy! Mad Cow does another spelling save! St. Louis is keeping the pressure on here a lot. There's another save! Oh, the puck! Why, do, why didn't he shoot there? I don't know, but Cow's crazy. The herd will take it. Cow's crazy gets it out. To Tomas, he's sneaking right in on goal. Doesn't take a shot. Back over to Cal's crazy. Zelos is knocked down from behind. She likes to take it from behind though. What? Uh, Zelos gets knocked over and Cal's crazy passes it right up to Tomas. York now has it. He can't get the puck out. Tomas, he walks right in front of the goal. He tries to take it back in. Doesn't work. Cal's crazy. He has the puck. And it's saved by Brodeur. Dimitra over to York Peppermint Patty. <laughs> Cal's crazy walks in front and he gets knocked over. To Chuck now, one on one. Walks in. Shot. Mad Cal with a save. And oh, here we go. It's going to be a fight. It's Cal's crazy and Keith to Chuck. And Cal's crazy comes out swinging here. He's got a few good shots in. He's trying to knock out Keith to Chuck. He does not want to lose in this match and he doesn't. Cal's crazy stays in the game and one of their. Big Snipers is going to be knocked out. That's the end of Keith to Chuck. And I can't tell who's going to serve that penalty for him there. Is that Al McGinnis? Because if so, he has a one hell of a shot. That that guy has... He was, for the longest time, he had the hardest shot in the league for a very long time. Um, Demetra now. 
He spins right in on goal. Oh, and Matt Cow saves it. York Peppermint Patty tried to pass it back and it didn't get in. And I'm going to keep calling him Peppermint Patty now because I keep thinking about it. <laughs> Tomas. Tomas gets knocked over. Demetra comes out front and takes a shot. Tomas now. He's trying to zing and zang his way through and he can't. Demetra takes a shot and Matt Cow with a glove save and Puck's knocked into the corner. Zelos now. Up over the blue line to Cow's crazy who got out of the penalty box and. Puts a backhand right in on goal. Dimitra takes a shot. Back to McKinnis. McKinnis in that one hell of a shot. Hasn't wound up yet. Zillos gets knocked right over. Thomas takes a shot. York. Peppermint Patty gets past the puck out. And they try to get puck to back deep in the zone. But St. Louis Blues keep falling to the ice. The herd just keep knocking them over. Thomas. Oh! Zillos had a big shot on goal there. But Brodeur was equal to the task. Yes, let's bring that one back. Equal to the task. Zelos now try to pass out front for Cal's Crazy, but she was knocked down first. York Peppermint Patty is in a hit at his blue line. Thomas now right in front of the goal. Cal's Crazy with a rebound. Nothing going there. And the puck just rolls down harmlessly. Cal's Crazy with another shot. Wides way up and Brodeur took care of that one. No problem. York takes a big shot there and Mad Cow is also equal to the task. And as we come to the end, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And there we go. After one period of play, we're scoreless, which has become the norm in these last few games we've seen. But I felt like there was a lot more chances to score in that from both teams, really. Um, lots of blocks, though goalie was slipping and sliding all over the place I felt like we got away with one there to be scoreless after one so things are things are picking up offensively but the puck's not going in the net 10 to 6 are the shots for the Blues after one and let's get some more players out there how about we get some Fury and some oh my God, no. let's go channel let's go Fury and channel that's who's gonna go out there for the second period. Fury's always looking for a fight. <laughs> Maybe she'll get into another one. And here we go! The second period is underway, and Demetra has the puck right away, but Cow's Crazy knocks it away. Channel tries to walk in front with a shot, but he can't get one underway. Oh! One timer by York Peppermint Patty, but Mad Cow was there for the save. Fury has the puck knocked away. Cow's can't pick up the puck, and he's bowled over. McKinnis! Oh! What a pass right up in front of the net, but Mad Cow stopped that! Where did that shot go? That was one wild shot, and it went wide over the net! McKinnis now to Fury. Fury's knocked down. Dimitra's getting <laughs> Fury just knocked Dimitra right through the glass. Fury now over to Channel. Channel's walking in. He does a little spin around, but doesn't go anywhere. And McKinnis is up over the line where he gets knocked down by Fury. Fury walking right towards the net. Pass scores! Turn off your channel because Channel has scored! <laughs> I'll shut your whole channel down, as Mike Tyson once said. He said you'd shut your whole channel down if you don't like the way he talks. Well, if you don't like the way I talk, you can shut my whole channel down. Hell, you're probably not even watching my channel in the first place. But anyways, channels just got hit over again. McKinnis to Demetra. Back to McKinnis. Oh, that was a nice defensive play there by channel. Cow's crazy. Over to Fury. She winds up, and Bordeaux with a big save. The Herd here have a one nothing lead. And the members of the herd are going crazy! Channel, he has it. He's up on the line, passes the Fury, and she's knocked right down. York Peppermint Patty, he winds way up and then passes it over, and oh boy, we're gonna have another penalty here! They knocked the Mad Cow down, and you can't do that. You can do anything in this game, you just can't knock down the goalie. And the herd are off to the power play! Cow's crazy. He loses the puck. They have 30 seconds here with an extra man on the ice. Can they take advantage of it and get another goal? Fury winds up from the point. Nothing going there. York Peppermint Patty just dumps the puck all the way down the ice. Mad Cow passes it way up for Fury. Fury's gonna walk right in on goal! Oh, stop there by Brunner! Cow's crazy back to Fury. No! And the puck is again is dumped all the way down the ice. And oh, Mad Cow's whoa! He's way up in his blue line. Cow's crazy comes right in! Almost had a good opportunity there. York 
Tomic has the penalty is now over. And it's in behind the herd net. Madcap's just kind of staring at the puck. Demetra has it at the blue line to York. Back to Demetra. He couldn't keep it in. It's back in with the puck and he takes a backhand shot. Cow's crazy. Oh, who got flipped over there? That looked like Channel. Channel's not liking that hit. And we're into a fight here. They're doing a little dance where they don't really get any punches. And now Channel's in with a few shots to the gut. And now he hits him in the face. And a few shots to the gut and that's it. Channel was not happy about that hit from behind. And he took it out on Pavel Dimitra. Goodbye, Dimitra. And Channel gets to play a little bit more in this game. Well, not too much more because his penalty is 30 seconds. And there's only 44 seconds left. So that means he'll get about 14 seconds left to play. Oh, pass right over on that 2 on Oh, Bogart had a York. Oh, he tried to bump the goalie again there. I see their plan. York again. Oh, bumps the goalie again. Yes, you can get up. They like hitting Mad Cow here. Mad Cow's not too happy about this. When it's 3 on 3, you can't hit the goalie. 2 on 2, they can't give you a second penalty in this game. So go ahead, hit the goalie all you want. It can work out to your advantage. Cow's crazy. Oh, and there we go. There's the big two on one play that they set up. Cow's crazy gets that puck right across to the fourth Fury. And she puts that puck right past Bodeur. It's 2 nothing for the herd. Have you heard that the herd is the word? York Peppermint Patty, he's out. And they got some team fire going here for the last few seconds. Oh, that was a big shot. How did Bad Cow keep that one out? Fury right in on goal. Takes another shot. It's wide. Oh, Fury get knocked down after two periods of play. It is a familiar score. Two, nothing for the herd. And there's that very common two nothing score for Gow's Grazies team, the herd. Here, after two periods of play, Channel and Fury getting the goals in that period. Um, but the Blues are still coming on strong, just Mad Cow is standing on his freaking head, almost literally at some times. Let's see how things are going to wrap up here in the third period, if he can continue to stand strong. Let's go with Charmed, and Fawful? Yeah, sure, why not. Charmed and Fawful sound, sound right. Let's get them going out there. Can Mad Cow continue to hold off this attacking foe? Puck is down, and the Blues have a 2-0 deficit to work with. They're trying to, going to come back. Oh, the puck just sailed wide by a little bit there. Charm has it right up the fall. Oh, that would hit the post! Cow's crazy hits the post there. York Peppermint Patty takes a shot, but Cow's uh, Mad Cow, I mean, makes the save. York Peppermint Patty over to McKinnis. He can't get it past Mad Cow. Mad Cow is just stopping everything. Nothing can get past Mad Cow anymore. York Peppermint Patty, oh, he tries to do a little, I don't know, fake a shot move there. That one didn't work either. Oh, there it is. Oh, it couldn't last forever. Oh, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Oh, humanity. Ah, the Blues have scored. That big one-timer, and it's 2-1 for the Herd. That's the first goal the Herd have given up in many, many periods of play, and they're going to have to make sure that's the last goal they give up for at least this game if they want to hang on right now, because now it's a one-goal game. But the Blues are still pressing. Mellonby lost the puck. Charmed in over the line. He's skinned straight towards the net and he can't get it in. McKinnis over to York. Pat Patty McKinnis. Oh, the return. Charm now has the puck. He loves to score and he does. Scores. He is derpy, but he has scored. He loves to score because then his face gets to come up on screen and that's really what matters. <laughs> And it's 3-1 for the Herd. Cow's Crazy walks in with a shot. Nothing going there. York now has it. Back to McKinnis. He has Cow. Oh, he had Mad Cow down and out, but he couldn't put it up and over him. Pucks in behind the net. Cow's Crazy. He loses the puck. Charmed has it. No, Cow's Crazy. I don't know who the hell has it there. Fawful knocks him down. He's walking towards the net. York now. Over to McKinnis. McKinnis winding up. Saved by Mad Cow. 
Melamy keeps it in. His shot does not go. Charm is knocked over again. Melamy walks right in. Saved by Mad Cow. Fawful has it now. Here comes Fawful. His pass is blocked by York Peppermint Patty. Puck now is getting out. Melamy over to York Peppermint Patty. He skates in a weird pattern and then passes over to Melamy who gets to go into the crowd and have some popcorn or a hot dog. Boder passes it out to McKinnis, who's back from his hot dog. McKinnis, over to York, Peppermint Patty, big shot. Doesn't work there. Melamy now, pack out in front. His one-timer doesn't work, and Fawful has it. Fawful to charm. He wanted another goal. He wants everybody to look at his pretty, pretty face. But it didn't work. Cal's crazy now. Over the blue line. Fawful, he gets nailed right in front of the net. McKinnis to Melamy. Oh, he couldn't get the puck off his skate. Charm walks straight in. Melamy now. He's going for a popcorn. Cow's crazy all along. But Bordeaux with the save. Oh my. York now. Melamy. McKinnis. Back to Melamy. Oh, York again. Melamy. They're passing it around. But they can't confuse the mad cow. York now has it. He's in for Melamy. Back to. Oh, passing back and forth right here. And Mad Cow still has it. Time is going to run out of this game. They are not going to have enough time. Oh, Melamy McKinnis walks right in. Another save by Mad Cow. McKinnis back to York. Another save. Oh, my God. I'm going hypersonic. <laughs> Mad Cow just stopped basically everything. Mad Cow was a cow possessed. And he is the player of the game. Even though he doesn't get the shutout, he's still the player of the game. And rightfully so. This guy is on fire. Even without the shutout, Angry Mad Cow gets star of the game. Uh, he only lets one goal in over 33 shots. He is the star of the game. He's just been playing some excellent hockey lately. Uh, stopping almost everything that comes his way. He's just really been on fire ever since Tiny Cow got in there, really, and put out that shutout of their own, and now it's just all Mad Cow, just going crazy here. But the Herd win again. 3-1 to one is your final score here today against the St. Louis Blues. Until next time, everybody, I've been Cow's Crazy. Please subscribe, please leave a comment below, and of course, Moo!